Hello everyone, this is a quick review of uh, G5 W1 mobile phone. So this is a 4 SIM, quad SIM. So this is a feature phone. Please do not expect much features from this phone. And uh, it has a good battery life. So it's saying long standby. So standby time is 40 days and talk time 25 hours. So it has 3000 mAh battery. So this is a quick review. So I'll open the box and uh, these are the items we get from the box so mobile phone and uh, MES battery and uh, micro USB cable as you can see okay and charger so the small pin so which Nokia will use this one and basic cheap quality and short very short length earphones so it is not 3.5 mm jack it is 2.5 mm jack so let's and uh, manual and that's it i put these things in a box and uh, we'll check battery battery performance and uh, whether it is compatible with the otg or not and charging and uh, force sim performance we'll check this in a review so before starting, so check the quick physical overview of the phone. So at the front we, uh, we have earpiece and dedicated calling keys for four mobile phones. One, two, three, and four. This is the call and button. So and uh, the bottom we have microphone. And right side we have manual torchlight. And this is for the hanging tag. And top side we have two LED lights and uh, one micro USB charger and this one should be charging port and uh, this one uh, the left hand side we have 2.5 mm jack and dedicated volume keys plus minus and uh, right side we have digital camera and two speakers so the material okay it, it look it gives a bit premium look but not much but it's okay with the price and the best thing is uh, it has four sim cards and uh, micro sd slot as well and uh, the good thing about these slots are uh, here we uh, it take normal sim card so even we can put nano sim card micro sim card and the normal one so we can fix here so let's check with the four sim cards as you can see I have inserted four sim cards one is Atel and it was Geo and the one is international 3 sim card and there is a global sim card and also I insert a uh, memory card so let's check this out so physical weight is okay I'm just switching on, on now too much loud so as you can see it's checking network we got one signal and the one fourth one and the first one is showing as Atel and last one is showing as Vodafone Europe and third one second one and third one is still searching for network So, got a text. Okay, yes. Got almost. I got all networks. Atel. Come on. Atel emergency call. Emergency call for the SIM two. Which one is a Geo SIM? So uh, I think it doesn't support three G or four G. So, Ata and Vodafone, okay, that's fine. 
So let's. Three. Oops. Solid corn. Okay, it's not bad, and uh, I'll check whether this is compatible for OTG or not. And uh, before that, I will check the charging. So, what uh, I heard this can charge with two ways. So, as you can see, I have power bank. So I want to check. Oh, it's charging. It's fine. So I want to check whether it is compatible for OTG or not. So before that. We'll take one phone. Uh, I don't think this phone supports OTG. So this is the message interface, it's not in threads, so we'll show one by one, it's okay. And uh, it doesn't support OTG. And uh, four sims turned by, this is a good feature from this phone. And also, we can charge this phone from this charger. Phone itself good and it has dedicated keys for all SIM cards. So if if you want to call from SIM one for to call this one, SIM two, SIM three, and from four. So these are the basic and good features. So display is pretty good and uh, we can charge from either USB or the small pin and this is LED lights. So it's very good as you can see yeah it's good and that's it so if you have any questions please contact thank you very much